persons here are familiar with tithes and offerings, yes? Something we practice on a weekly basis, correct? Yes. Correct? Yes, yes. Correct? Yes. All right. So we'll just uh, look at some Bible texts, some spiritual prophecy texts also. Uh, like a refresher to get us, you know, to keep us on uh, firm ground so that we can truly understand God's plan. It is, it is God's plan, it's not our plan. This, this thing existed before us. So we know that it's not something that was formulated of man, it's something that is given from Amen. God himself. Amen. <laughs> Amen? Okay, scripture reading, Psalms chapter 24 and verse 1. The earth is the... Lord. Who? Lord. Alright, good. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. We dwell in the world, right? So, God owns you, correct? Yes. Yeah. And He owns everything in this world, correct? Yes. Yeah. But we know the enemy has tried to usurp his authority and he's been covetous he's claiming this world as his but the world is the lord and the fullness thereof for he has founded it upon the seas established it upon the Flood. on the floods the gold and silver belongs to who god. the gold and silver belongs to who? god the wages that you earn whether weekly or bi bi-weekly or monthly or whatever the case might be, who does it belong to? God. Okay, that is clear. I hope we understand that that is clear. That is not yours. That is God's own. Amen. Amen. Right. Let's go here. Again, we have Leviticus 27 and verses 30. It says, all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. Yes? yes? yes. It is holy unto the Lord. And if a man will at all redeem aught of his tithes, he shall add thereof to the fifth part thereof. And concerning the tithe of the herd, of the flock, even of whatsoever passeth under the rod, the tenth shall be holy unto the Lord. Amen? Amen. Holy. The tithe is holy. Amen. Is that understood? Yes. Amen. It is not a common thing to play with. No. Amen. It is sacred. Holy. Amen? Amen. We get a little bit of understanding here of, of, of because we, 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 we can truly see it um, within the Hebrew economy, right? You know, they were given the oracles, they were given the laws and everything like this. So they were, they, it, when we study, you know, how they were supposed to do things, this will understand, we understand how to go about uh, doing it. Uh, Patriarchs and Prophets 525 paragraph 1. In the Hebrew economy, how much? One how much? One tenth of the what? One tenth of the what? Income. Of the income of the people was was what? Set apart. Set apart to support the what? I'm not hearing you guys. You so quiet today. It's too cold outside. I wonder why. It's it's, 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 don't be scared, guys. It's, no, we focusing. We, 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 oh, we, okay, I like that word. We focus in, I like that. Don't be ashamed. It is, we are here to learn, amen? Amen. We are here to learn. So, so one tenth of the income of the people was set apart. Was what? To set apart means to what? Consecrate. Was the Sabbath day set apart? Yes. So, so in principle, the Sabbath is like a, a, a tithe. Yes. 
Because God gave us how many days? Six. Six. That's right. It's a seven day cycle, right? right. Mm -hmm. He gives you six, right? Mm -hmm. And you take how many? One. Just one. one yeah. Now, I don't mean you must take this whole six and go about yeah. manifesting, you know, giving glory to the enemy on those six days and then that one day expect to come and use it to give glory to God. Don't do that. Right? Even throughout the six days, your life must testify to who? To God. Because He gave you life. Right? So one tenth for set apart for the public worship of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. We read that already in Leviticus. He giveth to all life and breath, breath and all things. All things. And what? All things. All things. Without life, you cannot enjoy anything that you have. True. Correct? True. Yeah. You have your nice escalade and your mansion and your, you know, whatever you have. Without the breath of life in you, you cannot enjoy nothing. Every beast of the forest is mine. The cattle upon a thousand hills. Psalms 50 verse 10. The silver is mine. The gold. Right? And it is God who gives men power to get wealth. As an acknowledgement that all things come from who? From him. The Lord directed that a portion of his bounty should be returned to him. to him in what yes. gifts and offerings to sustain his worship Amen. and when we go for our scripture we see even before the Hebrews even before the Hebrew people, tithing was in existence. Amen. Amen. Did the Sabbath come into existence when they came into existence? No. The Sabbath was there from the beginning, way back before them. So tithing was there. Tithing was introduced even before the Hebrew people came on the scene. But being that they came on the scene now, it is unfolded to us how it is to go about to be done. Previous slide. Previous slide. Picture of some problems, 525.4. Uh, right? So we have in Genesis with uh, Abraham giving tithes to who? Melchizedek. Melchizedek. Right? Melchizedek. And, and Melchizedek blessed him, right? And he said, Blessed be the most, uh, the most high God which have delivered mine enemies into my hand. And he gave him tithes of? Oh. He gave Abraham Paid tithes to who? Melchizedek. Melchizedek. Paid tithes to Melchizedek. Right? And even Jacob. Right? Even Jacob. Genesis 28. Right? And he, he made a vow, right? Jacob vowed a vow. If God will be with me and keep me in this way that I go, give me bread to eat and raiment to put on. Right? So I come again to my father's house in peace. Then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. Of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the what? The tenth. I will give the tenth unto thee. Now this quotation even goes, it brings us back to the time of Adam. The scripture gives us with Abraham and Melchizedek, but this quotation, now we know the Bible and the spirit of prophecy were given of God. Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. In every dispensation from, from what's time? Adam's time. Ah. From whose time? Adam. Yes. Adam's time to our time. Because we know that it is preached that 
we should not tithe. Christian church is preaching that, you know. Christian churches are preaching that we should not tithe. So in every dispensation, from Adam's time to ours, God has claimed the property of man, saying, I am the rightful owner of the universe. universe. Therefore, consecrate to me the first fruits, bring a tribute of loyalty, surrender to me my own. What is he saying to you? It's his. It's not yours. It's his. Thus acknowledging my sovereignty. And you shall be free to retain and enjoy my bounties. Amen? Amen. Of course, we just touched how much, how much are we are to give for the to support public worship. Yes? One tenth. Right? Jacob gave what what? A tenth. Right? Now, we saw previously, Genesis said that Abraham gave tithe of all, but he didn't say how much. But when you allow scripture to interpret itself, the New Testament confirms that Abraham gave what? A tenth. Amen? Amen. Speaking about Hebrews 7, right? To whom also Abraham gave a what? A tenth part. Is that understood? All right. Testimonies, Volume 3, pages 394, paragraph 1. So, so as, as to the amount required, God has specified how much? One tenth of the increase. Right? Now, you see, before we saw the word income. But now we see another word being used, increase. increase. And you will see different words to describe what, whatever you're receiving. Mm -hmm. Whether it's income or your, your increase or, you know, different words are used to describe it. Right? Mm -hmm. So God has specified one-tenth of the increase. And this is left to the what? Conscience. It's left to the what? Conscience. A conscience and benevolence of men. Who's judgment in this tithing system should have free play and while it is left free to the conscience a plan has been laid out uh, definite enough for all yes no compulsion is required uh, do we understand nobody can or should compel you to tithe nobody not the head of the general conference not the head of rome not nobody not your pastor not your elder not your deacon right not anybody in, in authority because they didn't give it to you he did not originate with them everything belongs to who? god so your accountability is to who? god all right and it's left to your what? Yes. Yeah, it will hit you here. You, you, you're not gonna have to, have to run behind nobody for nothing. Here, this is what you have to. Wherever you can run from people, but you see this, it go with you everywhere you go. This here. This. All that is withheld of that which God claims, the tenth of the increase is recorded where? In the books of heaven against the withholder. As what? As what? As what? Shall a man rob God? If you're robbing God. Normally when the man roll up on you to stick you up and to rob you they, they think less of you you know like 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 i could just run up on this person and rob them and thief them and and, and and do them what i want so that means i'm more powerful than them so if you're robbing god you're more powerful than god huh yeah so it's recorded as robbery yes 
Now, this thing about withholding tithes. Okay, let's use an example. You might be in a particular setting, and you choose not to give because it's held to your conscience, right? You choose not to give to that particular place, but you give it somewhere else. That is not withholding. Withholding deals with you not giving it at all. Yes. This is what withholding tithes mean. You not paying tithes at all. Returning. Yes. 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 This is what it is. Right? Yes. So it's counted as, uh, it's counted as uh, robbery. Now, at what point in time do you take out this First. this portion? First. Do you know you have, that's the first thing you have to take out before you do anything with that money? Amen. Do you know that? Yes. Because sometimes what we do is we get paid, we get that money, and then we, we immediately we go and shop, we do things, we do we, we cover all kinds of different things. Then, then now, then now when we're looking to take out the time now, we see the, some little scrums. some little scrums remain. Say, hey, let me take that and tie. That's what you bring into God. The, 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 the scrums. Huh? That's what you want to bring to God. The leftover. That's what he's worth. Huh? The first portion of that money. The first thing you do when that when that come in is to tithe. The first thing you do. And offering. Yes. First thing. So God requires God God's requirements come what? First. Comes first. We are not doing his will if we consecrate to him what is left of our game at all. Of our imaginary wants after our imaginary wants have been supplied. You can't do that. You don't, you, you don't do that, brethren. So before any part of our earnings is consumed. We should take out and present to him that portion which he claims. Yes. Amen? Yes. Is that understood? Yes. Before you do anything with that thing you receive, that is the first thing you do. Right? So in the old dispensation, an offering of gratitude was kept continually burning upon the altar, thus showing man's endless obligation to God. If we have prosperity in our secular business, it is because God blesses us. Yes? Yes. Amen. yes. It's because of God's blessing you are able to get up every day and, and, and work and earn a living for your family. Don't forget that. A part of this income is to be devoted to the poor. Right? And a large portion to be applied to the cause of God. So when that which God claims is rendered to him, the remainder will be sanctified and blessed to, to, to whose use? Our use. But when a man robs God by withholding that which he requires, his curse rests upon the, the whole thing. Wow. You see it? Rest upon the whole thing. We wonder why. Some people wonder why. Like, look, I'm making this money on this. I cannot see light. Struggling. Still struggling. I can't. Why? Because you're doing something in ignorance. You don't even know. Right? Mm -hmm. 1902. 1902, paragraph 2. You're in heaven. Or Adventist home. You get the same thing. Right? Now, this tenth, we need to understand what we need to do with it, what we have to do with it. We need to understand what we do with it, what we cannot do with it. Right? And we, we understand that it is support, it is to support public worship of God. Especially in our time, the 300th message. Amen? Yeah. So, the, 
uh, that is taken from the Crest, Crest Collection, right? Crest Collection, 147 paragraph one. These messages must go to all inhabitants of the world, right? The free angel's message. The Lord is soon to come and he calls upon all to whom he has entrusted his capital of means to invest it in his work as it demands help. His money is not to be shut up in where? Oh. Hear that? His money is not to be shut up in banks and in buildings and in lands when there is such great work to be accomplished. The commission was given. Go and preach the gospel. And they had the things stuck up there in the bank, in, in investments stock and in market. all stock market and cryptocurrency. Pedro. The Lord will not send his judgments for disobedience and uh, transgression upon the world until he has sent his watchmen to give the message of one. Alright? Christ said that. This message of the gospel has to go to all the world. And then. Right? Then the end will come. So who's hindering the work? Us. Yes. We are hindering the work. We are hindering God's work. God is not pleased with the present showing. He's what? He's happy? No. He's no. joyful? No. He's singing? Uh -uh. Huh? No. no. He's not pleased. Mm -hmm. Our means. See, another word. So we saw tithe, we saw income, we saw increase. Now we see means. Our means is not to be bound up for years where it is not available for missionary, missionary work. work. So after telling offering? Hmm? After you tell offering, it's our means, that's after telling offering. Yeah, that's talking about the tithes. Yeah, that's, that's addressing the tithes itself. Oh, those are our personal yeah. means. No, that's, that, that's the tithe itself. That, that tenth. That tenth. She used synonyms. Yeah. Means. Yeah. Means. Increase. increase Tithe. You see it. When you study it. I'll give you all the, the information after. So you go. Everybody need to get this. Get this stuff and study it for themselves. This is something everybody need to. If you're going to do it, do it right. Amen. Right? If you're doing it, do it right. You don't want to end up in problem. So our means is not to be bound up for years where it is not available for missionary work. Right? That, 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 that portion that has been consecrated. The, the rest is yours. You have your bills to pay. You have your family to that you, you do. But at the same time, that don't mean you must take that rest of that money and just go to the club and, and drink and do all them different things. Do it. Eh? It don't mean that, right? But so we we specifically uh, we specifying about the time itself, right? So 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 it's not supposed. To, our means is not to be it's supposed to be bound up for years where it's not available for missionary work. This God what forbids? forbids. He forbids that. He sees the great work to be done in various places throughout the world. He sees the cities in which memorials for him are to be established to proclaim the truth for this time. This time. Yeah. So that tenth, that tenth, we go to Numbers, to uh, the book of Numbers to understand what is to be done with that tenth. Uh, Numbers 18, verse 21. And behold, I have given the children of Levi or Levi, however you want to pronounce it, all the what? The tenth in Israel for what? For inheritance. For their service which they serve. serve. Even the service of the tabernacle. tabernacle. See what it's for? What does it support? The tenth for the service of the tabernacle. The spreading of the word. The support of the work. That's what that tent is specifically for. Again, thus speak unto the Levites and say unto them, When ye take of the children of Israel the tithes which I have given you from them for, for your in inheritance, then ye shall offer up a heave offering of it for the Lord, even a tenth part. Right? So whoever is receiving tithes, you have to tithe your yeah. tithe. Mm -hmm. You have to tithe. Right? You tithe the tithe. 
Yes. If it's understood. If you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So the priests then now, the ministers receiving that is not all for them to just take and for their, for their own use. No. Part of it has to be contributed also to continue the work. Everybody does. Yes. 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 Okay. It says, it tracks of Proverbs 5.26, paragraph 1, the tithe was to be exclusively devoted to the use of the Levites, the tribe that had been set apart for the service of the sanctuary. So you see that? Were the, were the Levites themselves set apart? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we see a, a portion is always set apart. Whether it's a person or people or, you know, which means consecration, consecrated. Right? But this was by, by, by no means the limit of the contributions for religious purposes. The tabernacle, as afterward the temple was erected holy by what? So we have what? Free will what? Offering. Offerings. And to provide for the necessary repairs and what? Other expenses. Right? Moses directed that as often as the people were numbered, each should contribute a what? Half a shekel for the service of the. So you have the tithes, the tenth, and then you have the offerings that will go for the what? Yeah. The repairs, to, to, yeah, expenses. To, to upkeep. Keep up. To upkeep the, 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 the place of worship. Right? So the tenth is exclusively for the ministers. Yeah. Nothing else. The offerings come in now to yes. And you can read about that in um, Exodus Exodus 35, 36 and Exodus 27 I think. Yeah. Right? And these are some other Bible texts you can check to see what's going on. Right? So record them and you take it like this. So, yeah, that's how it is. so from time to time, uh, sin offerings and thank offerings were brought to God. And these were presented in great numbers at an annual feast. And the most liberal provision was made for the poor. Now, there is something for the poor also. Yeah. Right? There is something for the poor also. Right? So we're coming there. What does the tithe support? What is support? That tenth, what is that? What does it support? Um... Manuscript release, uh, volume 1, 189, paragraph 3. God's ministers are his shepherds, right? Appointed by, by him to feed his flock, amen? The tithe is his provision for their maintenance. And he designs that it shall be held sacred to this purpose. Whose design? God. Whose purpose? His purpose. God. His design, his purpose. That's what we saw, what we saw with the Levites. To maintain them. Amen? Is that understood? Yes. Right. Instruction has been given me that there is a withholding of the tithe that should be faithfully brought into the Lord's treasury for the support of ministers and Missionaries. So who else are covered? Missionaries. Missionaries are Medical covered. missionaries too. Yes. <laughs> Medical missionaries are covered at right. the time. Who are opening the what? Scriptures. Scriptures to the people and working from house to house. The Bible workers. Yeah. Bible workers are covered. Call purposes. Call purposes? No. 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 No, no, we, we, we have it here. We, we, that's why we have to be clear on this thing. We don't want to think that we're going to use it to cover this thing and it is, it's, it's not God's word. We, 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 we have to establish God's word to go forward, to do it correctly. We have to understand what exactly does it cover, right? These workers are to do their best as the Lord's light bearers. As they walk humbly with God, angels of heaven will cooperate with them. Right? The ministers and evangelists who are laboring in the Lord's vineyard must 
be supported. Evangelists too. Hmm? Evangelists as well. Yes. Hmm? Must whoever is breaking that bread of life yeah. must be supported. That is not my word. I didn't write this. God gave his messenger to write this. I am just opening it up to us. Amen. Amen? Yeah. So at the end of the day, they're going to say, Randy, say. say if you're going to fight, <laughs> fight, with, God. fight with the Bible and take your spirit of already and fight with Ellen White, fight with God too. But leave me in peace. <laughs> All right? Evangelism 4, 492, paragraph 2. The time should go to those who labor in word and doctrine. Be they, be they, be they, men or, be they, or women. Do we see a support for the women with this type of business? Of course. Do we generally see that? We don't. Then we don't generally see that. Men and there's a prophecy in Joel chapter 2, right? In the last days, I will pour out my spirit on who? All, All flesh. flesh. All flesh. Yeah. All flesh. Your young men, your women, your... Handmaid. Handmaid. They shall dream, they shall prophesy, they shall dream dreams. Not women pastor. We don't, we don't, we don't promote that. that. That order is not of God. It says that women will prophesy. Women don't have to be a pastor to prophesy. Because Ellen White prophesied that she wasn't a pastor. She was not even ordained. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Understand what is prophesying and what is pastor? Yes. Different. Different. We have women here who present the word. Amen? Amen. We have women here amongst us who present the word. Amen? Yes. Yes. Are they pastors? No. Oh, all right. So we understand. So let's go into this thing. Injustice has sometimes been done to women who live here just as devotedly as the husband and who are recognized by God as being necessary to the work of ministry. Yes. The method of paying men laborers and not paying their wives who share, you see, it, who share their labors with them is a plan not according to the Lord's order. In, that is an injustice against women. It is an injustice. And if carried out in our conferences, which it is, is liable to discourage our sisters from qualifying themselves for the work they should engage in. God is not saying, hey, look, prophesy for money, you know. Well, everyone prophesying get some money. No, he's not saying that. He's saying, use the gift that he has given to you to do his work. And the provision is there for your support. Mm. You know, I read that statement this week. <laughs> but there was something we need to note on the game is that that minister's wife that sit by idly. See what he says? What he says? What he says? Who oh, oh, share their labor. They must be laboring in the cause like, of God. Amen. That's sit down idly, just no. and come and sit down and sit back by force. Yeah. Just and just get money. No. no not like they must share the labor. Share the labor. It's clear as day as yes, sir. I just, just want to get something clear. So this is speaking about not a minister who has a job and just working for the church partially, but someone who come apart totally for the working of God. Yes. The work of God. Yes. That's what we highlight. Yes. Work of God. Yes. That's what we highlight. So, 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 so God is a God of justice, yes? yes. And if the ministers receive a salary for their work, their wives will devote again. Their wife will devote themselves just as disinterestedly to the work should be paid in addition to the wages their husband receives, even though they may not ask mm -hmm. for it mm -hmm. see that you should have a heart yeah? you should have a heart exactly boils down again to what loving your neighbor come on mm -hmm. medical missionaries 
Medical Missionary 245, paragraph 3. Some who do not see the advantage of educating the youth to be physicians, both of mind and of the body, see that the type should not be used to support medical missionary. There is this idea, right? Who devote their time to treating the sick. In response to such statement as these, I am instructed to say that the mind must not become so narrowed down. Right? That it cannot take in the truth of the situation. A minister of the gospel who is also a medical missionary who can cure physical ailments is a much more efficient worker than one who cannot do it. Are you understanding this? Are we called to be mission medical missionaries? Yes. From top to all of us. Our example is Christ. Yes? We read for the scripture, Christ went about doing what? Healing the sick, preaching the gospel. To them. That is our example. So the one who could do this is more efficient. His work as a minister of the gospel is much more what? Complete. Complete. Hallelujah. He knows. When we, we say, go ahead. No, I was just saying with um, it's interesting when you read books about some of those missionaries. Yeah. David Livingston, mm -hmm. Hiram Etz, yeah. Hudson Taylor met. Yeah. When they, the God gave them a burden to preach, yeah. but then they learned of the needs of the people, uh -huh. and then they said, I must study about how to help the people. And David Livingston, uh -huh. Hudson Taylor, and many other missionaries, both were medical Amen. missionaries and Amen. spread the gospel. Amen. So they saw the link. Amen. You cannot have one without the other. You cannot do it completely, do it how Christ designed it to be done. No line is to be drawn between the genuine medical missionary work and the gospel ministry. Is that understood? No line. These two must, was what? Must blend. Must blend. They are not to stand apart as separate lines of work. No. They are to be joined in an inseparable union, even as the hand is joined to the... Isn't it the right arm of the body? Ah. Those in our institutions are to give evidence that they understand their part in genuine gospel medical missionary work. A solemn dignity is to be characterized, uh, is to characterize genuine medical missionaries, and uh, they are to be men who understand and know God and the power of His grace. Amen? Okay, Bible teachers, Bible workers, right? Manuscript release, volume 1, 189. Our conferences uh, should see that schools are provided with teachers who are thorough Bible teachers, right? Right? The best ministerial talent should be brought into, into schools. And the salaries of these teachers should be paid from the what? From the what? From the time. Testimonies, volume 6. Light has been plainly given that those who minister in our schools, teaching the word of God, explaining the scriptures, educating the students in the things of God, should be supported by the what? Time money. money. Yes. This instruction was given long ago, and more recently it has been repeated again. And again. Publishing houses. Publishing houses. Amen? Volume 4 of the testimonies. Institutions that are God's instruments. Not any institution. Institutions that are God's instruments to carry forward His work on the earth must be sustained. Sustained. Must. Churches must be erected. Schools established. Publishing houses. Right? Publishing houses furnished with facilities for doing a great work in the publication of the truth to be sent to all parts of the world. These institutions are ordained of God. Amen? Amen? Ordained of God and should be sustained by what? Tithes. Should be sustained by what? Tithes and liberal offers. 
right? Christian Education, page 226. The press. The press is a what? Powerful, Powerful instrumentality which God has who? Ordained. ordained. Who ordained it? Brethren, we give out books on a weekly basis. Yes? Who ordained that this book should be printed? God. God. So the press is a powerful instrument ordained by God to be combined with the energies of the living preacher to bring the truth before all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people. Many minds can be rich in no other way. You think you'll always have an opportunity to sit with somebody and open the Bible with them? Where sometimes you could give them the book? Or what happened? Hmm? Mm -hmm. That's right. So public houses. Books and literature is covered under types. Testimonies Volume 4 in commissioning his disciples to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Christ assigned to men the work of spreading the gospel. But while some go forth to preach, he calls upon others to answer to his claims upon them for what? For what? Tithes and offerings. For tithes and offerings with which to support the what? Ministry. The ministry and to spread the what? The spread the what? Printed truth all over the land. The printed truth. This fall, you'll see another place where she calls it the silent preachers. We call him silent preachers. We have been asleep, right? As it were, regarding the work that may be accomplished by the circulation of well-prepared literature. Let us now, by wise use of periodicals and, and what? Books. Books. Preach. With the use of what? Periodicals and what? Books. Preach the word with determined energy that the world may understand the message that Christ gave to John on the aisle. Of partners. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Daddy, daddy. Books. Books will reach those who can be rich in no other way. Is that understood? Books will do a work where in no other way people will be reached. Those living far from any large settlement, I call these the byway heralds. To such ones, our canvassers are to carry the books containing the message of salvation. Amen? Amen. 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 Now, the things that tithes does not cover, where it should not be used, right? The Lord, Testimonies, Volume 9, page 248. The Lord instructed Moses for Israel, Thou shalt command the children of Israel that they bring thee pure oil, pure oil, olive, beaten for the light to cause the lamp to burn always. Exodus 27. This was to be a continual offering, that the house of God might be properly supplied with that which was necessary for his service. His people today are to remember that the house of worship is the Lord's property. Amen. And that it is to be scrupulously cared for. But the funds for this work are not to come from the tithe. Right? So, Exodus 35, 36, we see offerings. So the offerings come to me. Offerings are for that, not tithe. Tithe is specific for the word. Specific. Again, I was shown that it is wrong. I was shown that it is wrong to use the tithe for defraying the incidental expenses of the church. In this, there has been a departure from correct methods. It would be far better to dress less expensively. Cut down your indulgences. Practice self-denial and meet uh, these outgoings. By so doing, you will have a clear conscience. But you are, but you are robbing God. 
you are robbing God every time that you put your hands into the treasury for funds to meet the running expenses of the church. Yes. 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 Understand it, brethren. We, we, we need to understand it. This we cannot play with this one. Cannot play with this. School purposes and canvases and call patterns, that stuff is not covered. It's not. It's, it's not covered. Uh, one one reasons that the tithe may be applied to school purposes are uh, still other reasons that canvases and call patterns should be supported from the tithe, but but a great mistake is made when the tithe is drawn from the object for which it is be used. The support of the ministers. There should be today in the field 100 well-qualified laborers where now there is but one. So canvassers, culpators, your school business, ties does not cover that. No. Again. Do I say that? Well, I would say the call porters, yeah. right? Yeah. Like she says, books like Christ Object Lessons, mm -hmm. Page Arts and Profits, these yeah. should be sold. Yes. So by them selling the books is yeah. their means of income. Yes. For the ministers of the gospel yeah. is the tie to support Amen. them. Amen. And the medical mission. Is that clear, Bedrin? Yeah. Is it clear? All right. Beautiful. Tithe is not a poor fund. Tithe is not a poor fund. The tithe is set apart for special use. It is not to be regarded as a poor fund. It is to be especially devoted to the support of those who are bearing God's message to the world. And it should not be diverted from this purpose. Is that understood? Reverend Herald, uh, Reverend Herald December 1st, 1896. There's other pages you can get it on. Right? Christian service? Uh, no. Yeah, Christian service and Testament. So it's not a poor fund. It's not a Yeah, you can't do that. It's not for that. That ten percent is not for the poor. That's a specific for you. It's not for personal use. It is not for personal use. Bedren, the, the tithe is not for your personal use. Volume 9 of the Testimony 247, paragraph 1. God has given special direction as to the use of the tithe. He does not design that his work shall be crippled for the want of means, that there may be no haphazard work and no error. He has made our duty on these points very plain. The portion that God has reserved for himself is not to be diverted to any other purpose than that which he has specified. Let them feel at liberty to retain the tithe to use according to their own judgment. They are not to use it for themselves in any emergency. Not to apply it as they see fit. Even in what they may regard as the Lord's work. Is that clear? It's not for you personally. That is not yours. Because what we do sometimes, we get the tithe, we, we put the tithe, we take it out, we put it aside, we go, we do other things, and come to realize, but we need some extra money to do something. So what we will do now, we say we go in the tithe, we'll take something from the tithe, and then we, we, we put it back when we get a chance. That is dangerous stuff you're doing. That is dangerous stuff. Yeah. So, what they regard, even what they regard. So that means we must not move on our own understanding of what is God's work. You see it? Like Ella Jerry, Jerry, Jerry said to us, not every good idea is a what? <laughs> not every good idea is a, is a, is a, is a message from God. So it's not for personal use, not for secular use, it's not for that. Now, it is especially not, it is especially not for unconsecrated ministers. Amen. Is that understood? It is not for unconsecrated 
Because to set apart is to consecrate, right? Yeah. And God's consecrate, God sets apart. If these men, these ministers, these women, whoever they are, were not set apart by God, they are not to be supported with that money. That's God's money. And you have to give account to God for that. You have to give account to God for that. Right? And Peter warns us. Second Peter chapter 2. There were what? False prophets also among the people, even as there shall be what? False teachers. Right? Christ of the lesson, 305 paragraph 2. In our day, in our day, are not the same influences at work of the husbandmen of the Lord's vineyard are not many following in the steps of the Jewish leaders? Yes. Huh? Are not many today following in the steps of the Jewish leaders? Of course. Dressed up. Mm -hmm. And outwardly you would think it is God. Mm -hmm. A people waiting for the Messiah to come to say to the world, Behold your God. The Messiah come in front of their face like this and they don't even recognize who he is. And they did worse, they even put him on the cross. Kill him still. And they still dress up. Still dress up. Yes. Let's kill him quick so we can go and keep Sabbath. Wow. <laughs> With Sabbath you keep him. Uh -huh. And not really just teachers turning away, turning men away from the plain requirements of the word of God. Instead of educating them in obedience to God's law. Are they not educating them in transgression? When we're learning about the man of sin this morning. The man of sin, you're going to teach people to disregard God's law? And, 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 and money should be given to your ministry? Supported? No. 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 No, it doesn't work so. From many of the pulpits of the churches, the people are taught that the law of God is not binding upon them. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. Huh? Ah. <laughs> yeah. No theology. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. The sin yeah. of theology. You think you, we, 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 we talk about the man of sin, but we know how many ministers have the spirit of Antichrist? Of course, of course. If you're going to teach people to endorse same sex marriage in the church, what are you doing? What are you doing? Teaching them to affirm, affirm LGBT in the church. What are you doing? So from many of the pulpits of the churches, the people are taught that the law of God is not binding upon. God's order is male and female. Marriage. That's God's order. You teaching them otherwise? You endorsing otherwise? Testimony in volume 3. If men fail to educate themselves to become workers in the vineyard of the Lord, they might better be spared than not. It would be poor policy. Listen, it would be poor policy to support from the treasury of God those who really mar and injure his work and who are constantly lowering the standard mercy, of mercy, Christianity. Mercy. Using God's money to support error. Chris Collection, 120, paragraph 3. The churches must arouse. The churches what? Must the churches must arouse. The members must awake out of sleep and begin to inquire. How is the money which we put into the treasury being used? Do you have a right to ask? Yes. Conrad Vine did a message <laughs> and he said when they did the whole on tithe, yeah. he said that it's interesting. They tell you everything, but they don't disclose how every single money coming is being. And even if you want to get it, you won't get it. That is not right. Of course it's not. That is not right. Why do you think Jesus overturned and cleansed the sanctuary twice? That's right. This stuff. Yes, you are paying it. It was given to you of God. So you have a right to ask. Wherever you put in it. Wherever you put in, you have a right to ask. What is being done with this? Well, they'll tell you there's only one storehouse. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem. So they'll say to you, 
you know, the general conference is the storehouse. You know, and but that is not that is not biblical. No. That is not biblical, Correct. right? That is not that is not biblical, right? Yes. So the member have, team members have the the understand. They should have the understanding that they have the right to inquire. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to come and, and throw up yourself high and and excitement and do all kind of different things about your money and different things. So you're not on the streets, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Be. Come with a Christ-like attitude, you know. Come with a Christ-like attitude, because some of us, you know, we, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't fall from the sky. So some of this self is still in us, you know. Sometimes we like to push up and, and, and make things, you know, and uh, create a domino effect. Don't do that, right? But ask. It's your, it's your, you know. So, so, so because you have a right to ask because you are accountable. You will be accountable to God. Is that understood? Yeah. You are accountable to God. So, volume 7 of the testimony, 176, paragraph 1, God desires to bring men into direct relation to himself. In all his dealings with human beings, he recognizes the principle of personal responsibility. He seeks to encourage a sense of personal dependence and to impress the need of personal guidance. His gifts are committed to men as individuals. Is that clear? His gifts are committed to men as individuals. Every man has been made a steward of sacred trust. Each is to discharge his trust according to the direction of the giver. And by each, an account of his stewardship must be rendered to God. Who gave it? God. Who are you accountable to? God. That's right. Interesting in Proverbs 5.27, paragraph 1. The contributions required of the Hebrews for religious and charitable purposes amounted to fully one fourth of their income. income. One fourth or twenty five percent, right? So you have that ten percent, which is tithes, which is consecrated for ministry. Then you have the offerings, which would go for for the running of the the, the tabernacle, the place of worship, whatever the case might be, and that's where now you have. You have what you call a second tithe. A second tithe now would cover the poor. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, one fourth, yeah, twenty five percent. So that another ten percent. So if you do ten ten percent tithe, five percent offerings, you know, that shouldn't that shouldn't be the limit. But if you do ten percent tithe, five offering and then another ten percent for the poor, that's like twenty five percent. That's one. Right, so that's why it's tithe doesn't cover. It's not a poor fund because you so you're supposed to do a, a a second tithe that will cover the poor. That covers them. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 to be put to use for that or miscellaneous other miscellaneous stuff. You guys, until you figure out what you. You know, what you want to cover, what kind of work you do. That's for that's why. You, yeah, you don't deal with time and poor people and, and uh, second time it will cover that. So heavy a tax upon the resources of the the people might be expected to reduce them to poverty. But on the contrary, the faithful observance of these regulations was one of the conditions for their prosperity. You see it? So it's not to take away anything from you, you know. They, did they prosper? Of course. When they practice it properly, when they do it properly, yes. Will you prosper if you do it properly? Of course. You will prosper. You will prosper. Right. No doubt you will prosper. Right. So don't think that, boy, it's too much. I'm taking out too much. How many of us pass poor people and needy people on the streets on a daily basis? All of us. If it's done with the right motive. Even amongst us, we have people who are in need. Amen. Even amongst us, we have people who are in need. Amen. So, you know. So the second time for the poor, there is no question in regard to the Lord's poor, right? They are to be helped in every case where it will be for their benefit. We don't have to neglect the poor and the needy amongst us, right? God suffers his poor to be in the borders of every church. Amen? You hear that? God suffers his poor to be in the borders of every church. They are always to be among us. 
And the Lord places upon the members of every church. On who? Members. On who? Members. The members of every church. A personal responsibility to get for them. So we are not to lay our responsibility on others. Toward those within our own borders, we are to manifest the same love and sympathy that Christ would manifest where were he in our place. Thus we are to be disciplined that we may be prepared to work in Christ's lines. Some, some institutions refuse to help the poor people amongst them. Some of them do that. They refuse to help the poor people amongst them. Testimonies, Volume 9, page 247. The minister should, by precept and example, teach the people to regard the tithe as what? Sacred. Sacred. He should not feel that he can retain and apply it according to his own judgment because he is a minister. <laughs> You want to play around with something that's not even his. Play like that is his. It's not his. It's not his. It's not his. It's not them, whoever is collecting. It's not conference, whatever, regular lines, uh, present truth, independent. It's not theirs. It's God's. He is not at liberty to devote to himself whatever he thinks is his due. He should not give his influence to any plans for diverting from their legitimate use the tithes and offerings dedicated to God. They are to be placed in his treasury and held sacred for his service as he has appointed. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. 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 I think... Yes. So... These things you need to study for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. Study for yourself. So, this book, and then the truth about tithe and offering, the truth about tithe, right, from Van Sferel, those of you who order from Harvest Time, he has this book, right? So get this, a lot of this, this. we just touched on, uh, there's so much more. There's so much, you know, because there's talk about uh, regular lines and present truth and independent of all these things. You know, these people have along the years made a big mess. Let me take I have a book here. Let me show you. All. Have... Yeah. So they make a big mess of this this tithing and this fighting. There shouldn't be no fight between regular lines and independent lines, you know. Shouldn't. And this book, a very good book. So this book was actually written by um, Colin and Russell Standish. They were Adventist ministers back in the day, you know. And they stood for the truth. And they put out this book. And they show you all this thing about regular lines and irregular lines and tithing and, and, and all this thing about... Um, the conference, the, 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 the treasury or whatever the case might be. They, they Adventist ministers and they lay out the truth and they show you there shouldn't be no fight in between regular lines and irregular lines. You see, some of the ways in which the conference causes the people to err is, for example, ministries who are in ASI, yeah. they have to send to all their supporters that you will not send them tithe. Yeah. So therefore, even if they're tithe-worthy ministry, the conference says, no, you're not to receive tithe. Yeah. And then you have in local churches, let's say you, the Holy Spirit inspires you. There's a minister in China. Yeah. He's doing a work. The Holy Spirit inspires you, support him. Yeah. So let's say you're supporting this man a month, two months. Yeah. Now comes election committee. Yeah. They go to the treasurer. Yeah. How is his tithes and offerings? Yeah. Well, he hasn't been supporting for four ah. months. No office for you. So you see what I'm saying? Ah. This is how the Everybody leadership important. rejecting the council are using that to punish the members yes. in regards to money. That is wrong. Yes. That is wrong. Yes. You see, and we mentioned this thing about putting your name on the tithe, yeah. on the thing, you know? That's how they track you. Yeah. You see? So when they go in the council now, they go in the council. They can, let me look at all his 
because everybody's name is on the thing. Yeah. And they can use that to determine who will take office and who will do it. And that is wrong. Yes, and, uh, yes sir. Yeah, just to say that even in independent ministries, yeah. all wants mm -hmm. stuff to be set up in such a professional way. Yeah. Okay. So that the pastor himself not supposed to be paying himself a salary. That's right. right. That's supposed to be set Amen. up by the treasurers and whoever. A board. Amen. Yeah. He, he, he's looking for organization. Amen. Even in independent of ministry. Amen. God is a Amen. God of order. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yes. So they use this thing. So, so you you can't. It is wrong to do that. To look at people's tithes and don't give them office or don't give them things right. to do. Yeah. Uh, that is wrong. That and they have bought important. churches with tithe money too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buildings. Yeah. And use the holy tithe yeah. to buy institutions. Yeah. You don't do this thing. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So these things you should not. Do. So so these two books they very they very you know people not supposed to approach you leaders not supposed to approach you tell you well. You know, or you cannot pay ties over there, or you need yes. to pay ties over there, yeah. and this and this. You must do that. No. no, no, that God gave you as an individual mm -hmm. your accountability is to God. Responsibility. If you don't want to support the ministry, that is you and God. That is you and God. Nobody's supposed to fight with you, or nah, that is not God's way, that is not God's order. Mm -hmm. The tithe is really for the, for the building up of God's kingdom. Amen. And God is, God is such an amazing God that yeah. in the time of Israel, within the scripture, yeah. where God told the people, when they harvest their crops, yeah. they're not supposed to glean from the yes. 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 Leave so a portion yes. for the poor. For the poor. Yes. And then somewhere in Deuteronomy, you read that every three years, yes. right? Every three years, yes. a certain amount of tithe that was collected for the yes. three years Amen. was to be Yes, that deal, that is like a second time. Yeah. Yeah. That deal, yeah. when you look at it, it's like the yeah. second time. Yeah. And you got the jubilee as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, get this material, study for yourself, do some more research, see, see what you can find. Because there are a lot of more questions. There's a lot of questions right. with tithes. There's, there. there's one other with the holding of tithe. Yeah. <laughs> So, for example, churches were closed, right? Yeah. COVID, we're all going to oh, die. Yeah, yeah. So, some have held all their tithe for two years. Yeah. And just hold, that is something we're not supposed yeah. to do as well. Yeah. Because people are to be supported. Yes. So, you're not supposed to hoard it. Yeah. And now I got 50,000 tithe, now I'm going to... No, no. <laughs> you and then the devil says, like, why don't you ah, keep some of that? Look how much exactly. you have. Yes, you're not yes. supposed to hoard the tithe yeah. either. Yeah. yeah. You don't nice do that. Thing. No. Just one more right. point. Yeah. The main, the basic, the basic principle of returning what is rightfully God is, as you said in the beginning, everything is owned, everything belongs to God. Yes. Right? And, 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 and the, the, the principle of returning is my love for God. Amen. And my love Amen. for an area life. That Amen. He's the cause of my existence. Amen. He's the cause for me having redemption. Amen. Right? Amen. That should be the main Amen. basis for us returning what is rightfully God. That's a very Amen. powerful statement. Because some we get the income and we just say, oh, I have to type. So I just let me just pull it out quick. It's not from the heart. Yeah. You know, you know, I, you know, they're thinking like, you know, I have to, I have to do this. I have to take this out. Like I have to take this out. I have to, you know. When they but do that, when they do that, they're saying to God, I am grateful yeah. for the life that you have given me. Amen. Not only that, but I'm grateful for you sending your only begotten Son, your yeah. only Son. Yes. The script that the spirit of verse says that God exhausted heaven yes. and gave the world That's right. Jesus That's Christ. Right. So it's after faith. Amen. There's an Amen. Act of gratitude and faith. Amen. That's why you say not all gratitude, not all necessity. That's right. So we have a basic understanding, but of course, don't stay there like materialists they get material, get more, you know, do research, do you see where other situations play in? You know, you had a point in time where Women, were, some people were bringing the types of Ellen White to give to other support other other things for the work in the south. You know, yeah. they weren't to help in Edson. You know, where the work went to, yeah, support the south and, and you know, the black ministers and all of these different things. And a lot, there's a lot of information there. This is where you talk about searching. The yes, process. search. Yeah, and it is there for all of us, all of us to find. Yeah. Amen. And I just want last thing is that important point is don't let someone make you think it must go to conference and they use the widow's mites. Yeah as an excuse that she gave it That's to okay. them yeah. and they say well 
the, yes, she should have given it to Christ yeah. and therefore yeah. remember Christ had his Judas collected tithe it says yes. women supported them yes. Christ Amen. of his substance Amen. right so should Amen. John the Baptist not be supported yes. should Jesus not be supported yes. right? and we know these were independent ministries and yeah. I think about it she's an old widow right yes. she has been elderly now Jesus just comes upon the scene she has the scribes and Pharisees saying all their lies yeah. Maybe she did not know the full truth in regards to because how many the thief on the cross was led astray by yeah. religious yeah. leaders. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. just don't let them use that. Yeah, don't use that. And this book it goes a lot into um, 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 yeah with the um, nominal line and the um, independent ministry. And these are these were Adventist ministers, yeah. and they show you clearly from Bible and Spirit of Prophecy. That there's nothing wrong with independent ministry. There are two arms of the. It's nothing wrong. Two arms of God. Nothing wrong. <laughs> independent ministry. Amen? Amen. So this is the end of the message. I hope Amen. I won't keep you. I want to keep you too long. Uh, I hope that we will bless. I hope we all continue to allow the Spirit to teach us, to guide us, and so that we can be strengthened and to do His will, to do His work. Amen. Amen. Thank you.